Alright, hey everyone, this is for people who uh, who don't know how to connect to the Open Labs or how to submit their files or how to maybe transfer files from your computer to the Linux machines. So I'll be going over all of that. Uh, the first two things you're going to need are PuTTY and Cisco. PuTTY is what we're going to use to connect to the servers and you need the Cisco VPN uh, to connect because uh, or that's if you're off campus. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below on YouTube, so you're going to want to download uh, whichever client you need and just follow the instructions. Right, so once you have uh, Cisco installed and Putty, you can go ahead and connect to the VPN. Make sure the group is set to UCI full. I don't know if that's entirely necessary, but it works for me. Right, click accept. Establishing VPN. The there you go. So the next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up Putty. And uh, you don't need to change any settings. The only thing you need to do is you need to put in the host name, openlab.ics.uci.edu. That's the host name, and make sure this is SSH. Go ahead and click open. There'll be a prompt that says yes, no, or cancel. You're going to want to click yes. That's for first time use if you want to save the key of the server. So then you log in using your UCI Net ID and your ICS password account, not your UCI Net ID password, your ICS account. So that would be. There you go. I'm logged into the Linux servers. You can see. Andromeda, that could, that could be uh, uh, any of the Linux machines available. So you can see I have a whole bunch of files here. I have workspace and all that. Right. So now I'm connected to the server, but I don't have any files on there, right? So if I go to my files, see I, I have all my files here, but I need to put them on the, the server. So to do that, I'm going to have to open up the command prompt. You're going to want to go to the same directory as your files. Oop. Excuse me. Uh, there you go. So now that I'm in the same directory, we can use a specific command to transfer files. So the command uh, you need to use is PSCP. Uh, and let me make sure that is correct. Files. If you want to see what this file or what this command does, I'll put a link in the description for what it does. So yeah, the PSCP. You're gonna want to put the the source file name next. So I put all my files into the zip file, a write assignment write up, and my four py files because I'm using Python. So I put train.zip. And then you put the server name. So that would be snovar, your UCI net ID, at openlab.ics.uci.edu. You put a colon, and then you put the, the directory you want to transfer files to. So I'm going to leave it empty. So that means it'll be at the, the highest directory. Like that, you have to put your password. There you go. I put the wrong password. Okay. And also, uh, you can't see your password when you're typing it, so you better get it right. So you can see I sent the file. It's 100% done. I close this. I go back to the putty. And I check again. Now I have a train.zip, right? So let's move that somewhere else. Train.zip. Move the train.zip file to the workspace and change directory to the workspace. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unzip the file, unzip train.zip. So now we have all of these files, all of my regular files, assignment, write-up, main, simulation, train, and event handling. Those are all of my files, and you'll have your files there. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a, 
if you're using Python, you're going to want to make a script to run this. Let's see. I'll show you my script. Change directory. So this is these are all of my files. So the train the script that I use to run it. And this is pretty hard to read because I I don't know why, but we decided dark blue is a good color for black console. You can see uh, it's sort of similar to the script they sent out in an email. You just have to change for Python. You have to change it from environment to Python. And then the version you're going to use, I'm going to use 3.4. Uh, if you're using 3.6, 3.4 is fine. But if you don't specify this, uh, the Linux machine will try to run Python 2.7. So using you need, you need to specify the version of Python you want to use. So, that's showing for anyone that's using Python, excuse me. So, now I have all of my files. The next thing to do is to turn everything in. So, the command you want to use is just in the same workspace as where you have all of your files. So, you see I have all my files here. You're going to want to do CS115 uh, bin. Uh, submit. Oh, excuse me. Um, that would be. Excuse me. I need to check the the command again. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe this should have been something I had ready, but oh, it has been. I forgot, I forgot that. Yeah. Bin submit. So you can see I have a. This will tell you how to submit. You put submit dash a assignment number uh, dash f if you want to overwrite uh, your existing submission and then your files. So if I wanted to turn this in again, I'd say yes one more five. Bin submit dash a assignment one overwrite everything. And I'd start putting my files, blah, 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 all of my files. So that'd be for Python. I'd put all of my modules, event handling, py. Make sure you put the file type at the end, uh, simulation.py. Um, make sure you also turn in your assignment write up. I'm not going to bother with the red dot dot x, and then the script or make file to run or build your program. So in my case, that's just train. You see here the little asterisk means this is an executable, and you just run that, and you're good to go. I'm not going to do that because also this is dash f and i f. But uh, I'm not going to turn it in because I already did that and I don't want to overwrite my files. Um, but that's it. I hope that was helpful. Uh, comment below if you need more help because uh, this is pretty vague. Um, could have just used like Checkmate or something for a one file submission, but apparently we have to do it the long and tedious way. Uh, but yeah. And if you want, I can. Uh, do one example run. I can't say this will be, uh, this is correct, but, god, that fucking sound. Uh, let's see, it's just running regular, uh, let's change the number 1200, uh, dot, there you go, yeah, that was quick. Um, so yeah. So all the printouts, make sure you match the the prints correctly and all that stuff. It'll be very fun. Very fun. Um and uh good luck everyone.